And now we're ready to stucco. This is one of our older windows. Well, our new windows in our old stucco. You can see how we've tried to patch it in with the new paper and the old stucco. Some of this paper has a little crack in it right there. You can see that crack? We're going to caulk that up. All right, so that's how you do uh, a window in old stucco. For new stucco, here we go. So this is how you do new stucco. We saw the plywood framing already, but on top of that plywood framing, first thing we do is down here, it's called the weep screed. The weep screed looks like this. It has these little holes in it. That's the profile of it. Um, actually, this is, a, this is a better profile. That one's the other side's bent. It's like a little Z. Now what it does is the water comes down the outside of the paper, comes to these, uh, the stucco is going to come out to here, right up to the edge of this. And uh, if there's any water in the stucco, it's going to drip, drip, whip through, uh, weep through those holes. Well, it's called the weep screed. On the top, well, we don't have it here, but uh, in the soffit overhang, over here, up top there, we have a, a little J-metal. So we put against the uh, uh, plywood, put the paper on top, and that's, that's, a, that's like, acts like a stucco ground. What we do is we have waterproof paper, this black paper, and then we have this wire. It's called self-furring because you see these little dents in it. It keeps this wire off the, uh, off the plywood and the paper so that the cement goes behind it, the stuck goes behind it. We flash around all our openings, all our windows are flashed, all this is a vent, all, any, any pipes that go through, they're all flashed, and we use bitchethane around them, and then we caulk all the holes. So that's what's called rain buster out here in California. All right, so that's what we do to get it ready for stucco. We have the plywood, do the weep screed, stucco ground, double paper, double paper wire, and we, we actually use this wire, we staple it with these heavy duty staples. Let me see where I can find one. Right here. We have a staple gun. It's a one inch crown staple that goes with an automatic staple gun. And then what do we do? I'll show you next. Okay, right here we have some really horrible Latino music, but what can we do? Um, take our cement, throw it up the ladder. They just throw it, they literally throw it right on the walls. Kind of smooth it out. You can see it's very rough. Then we take the, uh, this tool right here and they scratch it like this all right so basically that's what's called the scratch coat why do we do that that's so the second coat will have something to stick to it acts like a, a, a mechanical bond the second coat will actually bite into that and the second coat's a brown coat it's very smooth angel smile why not that's angel that's guy all right and that's it for now. All right, this is how we mix the cement. We have washed sand here, six scoops, that's about uh, two yards. And for every scoop, there's a third of the yard, every scoop has three bags of plastic cement. Put in our cement mixer, roll it over, throw it in there, bring it back to the guys in the back for the scratch coat. That's it. Brown coat's next. <laughs>